the poll. So, panel, what is the market telling us about tomorrow? Well, I, I think what we're looking at is a market, two things. First of all, I think the market's okay with a split government. Uh, so, and I think that's the worst case scenario. Dems win the House, uh, GOP retains as the Senate. You can't unwind the, uh, the things that President Trump has put in position already. And the economic momentum should carry on. Worst case scenario, I think the market is okay with that. And I think we saw some of that today. I'm, I think John, the, I'm confused I, what you mean by, <laughs> by worst, but I, I, I just wanted to say that, that I, and in, in poking fun, I want to say I agree with your assessment exactly. I think it will be difficult to unwind the regulatory changes, certainly impossible to unwind the tax cuts. And so I think that's why this is a relatively non-event for the market, whatever your worst case scenario means. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, and I think the market is basically stabilizing after a terrible October. It's getting that out of its system and starting to look forward uh, to next year and saying to itself, you know, maybe the economy is still on solid footing. We had really strong jobs numbers on Friday. I think the one thing that I, that I would add that could change is if we do have some sort of massive blue wave, which I don't think the market or, or political um, uh, watchers are predicting at this moment, if we do see um, something unexpected, like a Democrat take uh, takeover of the Senate, including the House and the governorships, then I think you could see a market reaction to that because that will definitely stymie things for the next, uh, for the next two years. Um, certainly that is not what the president is predicting, but what's baked in right now, I think, is a Democrat takeover of the mm -hmm. House. Uh, by a very slim majority, and if it goes, and if it stays in Republican hands, and I equally don't think you'll see a reaction, but I do think you'll get one if we have some sort of big blue wave tomorrow night. Yeah, I, you know, I, think, I think that's think why the, the market was doing okay today, because they have kind of baked in those figures, and actually the Wall Street... That's hilarious. If the Democrats win, the market's going to crash. Um, so for me, uh, I do really believe we have a debt issue, and as a crypto holder, that's one reason why I'm not too worried about it because I do feel like the more debt not only just the US government puts on but just central governments and all around the world it should increase the utilization of crypto assets and it should bring up the value and in a way also just punish governments that keep borrowing money and then deflating their <laughs> their currency and making the people basically you know just basically taxing the people and uh, making their money worthless. So crypto would be a great counter. I don't think it really matters which party wins, but uh, the Republicans have done a good job of outspending Obama and the Democrats. They did add on a trillion dollars of debt that we already had, uh, <laughs> that you know Trump was promising to cut. Um, so we'll see what's gonna happen, but it's important to pay attention to the debt situation if you're investing in crypto assets. And let me know what you guys think about this and I will talk to you soon.